his crib, and uh, he slept in it for a long time. And I think we only really changed, uh, you know, thought about taking him out of there when he was close to three, um, because he was sleeping so well in there. It was very cozy for him, right? Did you love your crib? Mm -hmm. So then um, we, a family member decided that it would be a great idea to give us this humongous bunk bed thingy. Um, so we tried to put a, a really big bed and uh, I think James got a little upset that, and he really missed his, the coziness of his crib. So after that, after we changed his bed, he went from sleeping very well to waking up almost every night and coming into my, you know, our bed. And uh, it was really crushing my husband and I because we were waking up and he was waking up in the middle of the night, coming in. He didn't want to sleep in his bed. He wanted to sleep with us. And this went on for a very long time. Uh, we tried to bring animals to his bed. We tried to put night lights, make everything really cozy and nothing was working. This was a really big success story, James's room, just because he was really not sleeping at all in his own room going into his mother's room every single night, driving her nuts. Um, when I came here, she told me she had bought about six books about child sleeping patterns and trying to help them. Um, I right away thought of the Max Tricks as being the solution. And James actually saw it first that he was climbing in there and, you know, it was like a, it was really fun for him because it was, it was uh, high up. And at first I was surprised because the initial bed that we offered him was high, but he was loving this bed. Um, and he also loved the idea that it was a tent. So we took a shot and we involved James in the process and we picked out his colors for the bed and um, whether he wanted it low or high. But it was also the design process that we went through together um, where he was part of selecting his bed of, you know, feeling that he had chosen what was going to be in his room. Um, we printed out pictures of everything that was going to go in his room and put them on the wall, put them on the wall. Then mom, like Regina, showed them to him every day and said, here's what you're going to get. Here's what's going to be in your room. So he was really prepared for when the bed came. He was so excited about it. And then Regina told me he slept through the night in here the very first night that we got the bed. And uh, we installed the bed, and it's been magic ever since. So here's the bed. So show us, what did you do? You made it into what? That's just, what is that? A two train. Oh, you made it into a number two train. Cool. And, so, I, and, I, and at night, I usually get up onto this and stand here. Yeah? And then what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> the bed, you know, you never really think of a bed as a design piece, but the but the Matrix bed is very much like a very cool piece of furniture. It's a, it's a cool design, so it really, it's like a conversation piece. And this is the perfect solution for the transition from the crib to the first big boy bed that the child's going to have. Um, later on, you can lift it up, we could put a desk underneath it, we can put storage underneath it, whatever he needs later on, it can be adapted for that. Can you come over here and, and just tell Susie, how much do you love your bed with your hands? Can you show her? Like, like this, this, or this? <laughs> 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 <laughs>